So today Google released a new Google camera app which would be compatible with all devices, cameras, and tablets running 4.4 KitKat and above. So I downloaded this new version for Google uh, Camera uh, onto my Nexus 7 and I'm going to use Google Glass to do a quick demo for the method that I use to make photospheres. So photospheres are a great way to document the world around you and especially things that are special to you. I use this commonly when I'm on vacation. There's a lot of times that, you know, things that are locally significant, uh, I'll enjoy making this photosphere of. So you can see some new features here if you're used to the stock Android camera experience. You can see some other thing, other options here that are new. So I'm not going to go through all these. I just wanted to do photosphere especially. So photosphere enables you to make a 360 degree image of your surroundings. And the way that you do that is you capture a bunch of individual images and then the software stitches it together into one final product. So what I've learned from doing photospheres for a while is don't try, my best advice would be don't try to make the photosphere. The, the software's job is to stitch the image. My job is to provide it with good data, good input so that it can give me some good and interesting output. So here's the method that I use, and I'm using the Nexus 7 simply because it's a larger display and I felt like it would give us a little bit better, um, hopefully better viewing experience when I'm making this video. Um, so here's what I do. Um, first I start off, I kind of assess my surroundings. So here I am in the backyard and just kind of look around here. So one of the things that the camera software in Photosphere tends to struggle with is objects that are nearby. So what I try to do is make sure that I have uh, a fair amount of distance. The recommendation is, um, you know, 10 feet plus or minus. And what I found is that seems to be about right. So I give myself some space. Um, um, you know, here's just the backyard. So I'm not going to be right up against a, a tall tree, for example. The next thing that I have to do is I need to make sure what I try to imagine in my mind when I'm making the photosphere is I try to imagine that the lens on my device is in a fixed three-dimensional space. Okay, so imagine you have an X, Y, Z coordinate. And what I try to imagine is that that coordinate is the intersection point for where the lens of my camera is. And the better job I can do as I rotate around and take all of my individual images, the better final product I have in terms of um, the final photosphere. So here's how I do that. Sorry, bugs on my bugs crawling on my Nexus 7. Um, so here's how I do it. First, I find a I find a space on the ground that I use as a landmark. So for today, I'm just going to use this coin. Okay. Usually, when I'm you know out and about, it might be could be a leaf or a stick or something. So I'm going to use that as my reference point. Okay. I'm going to stand directly over that spot. I'm going to hold, in this case, my tablet. Uh, directly over that spot and then the very center of the tablet and you can see that little target there the round target I put that directly in front of my eye so I hold it at eye level and then if I look directly down a vertical line drawn straight down should be directly pointing at the quarter and then I simply go through and I take my pictures Okay, while I'm taking each, each picture, I move very slow and very controlled. In my mind, I'm not even worried about what the image looks like as I'm stitching it or as I'm piecing together the individual spots. What I'm thinking about is, can I keep that lens in a fixed 360 degree, or sorry, a, a fixed XYZ coordinate? Okay, so what I'll do is I just kind of, you know, some people have a pattern that they will use and they're just very methodical of only using that pattern and I think sometimes that might be a good strategy. It definitely works well if you're trying to not miss any spots. But what I do more than anything else is attempt to keep, in my mind, the only thing I'm thinking of when I'm making the sphere is doing my best to keep that lens in a fixed XYZ coordinate plane. Okay, so what I just did there was I kind of covered everything that was easy from how I was standing. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn towards the right and before I start taking any new images, so I'm going to just turn to the right. Okay, before I start taking any new images, I'm going to what I call re-zero. What I mean by that is I'm going to make sure that if I were to draw that original vertical line through my device, it should be pointing directly at the quarter on the ground. And I'm going to make sure that the center dot is in eye level directly at my eye level, and that's the way that I'm ensuring that everything is in that fixed XYZ plane. Okay, and then I continue making my sphere. So that's my strategy, and I'm not going to make you sit and watch every little uh, every little single image that I go through, but I'm going to stop the video now and then uh, continue making the sphere. This is what I use every single time, and with great success making photospheres. If you've never done this before, it's a great hobby, it's a lot of fun, requires minimal amount of equipment that you can carry around. Uh, and it's a great way to document things that are in your neighborhood or, like in my case, here in the backyard. Thanks for watching.